Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. As you can see, based on the thumbnail, we picked up a little fishing boat here. Um, the first fishing boat, I guess, that I've had in my adult life. Kind of excited to get it on the water. Just give you a quick run around. Um, it's a little 14 foot low, five foot wide. Um, came on a nice galvanized trailer, new jack, new crank, um, new winch, uh, new lights. I had all that on it, has good tires, looks like even new rims, but it could be wrong. It's got the guides on it, I like those. Um, if I'm trailering by myself, makes it a lot easier. Came with a nice 14 horse SPL Johnson. Um, heard some background on why the SPL is what it is, but Real quick, it's 15 horse motor with a 25 horse long shaft. The gearing in it changed it to a 14 horse. That's the gist that I get out of it. It did come with the motor, came with the fuel tank, came with an anchor and some rope, a couple other lashing ropes, um, came with a few life jackets and throwables. I did pick up a little um, paddle. I'm just making sure that I, I get the things that I need to have in here to be legal on Iowa lakes and that way I don't have any issues there. Um, I did put this transom saver on here. There's a reason for that and we'll just delve into it now. The transom on this at some point, it's a 1988 I believe low. Um, the transom on this is rotted out. There is a board that reaches from about just below the top of the gas tank here up into this top channel made out of wood. Most boats have a wood transom on them. Um, this one's, I'm going to say pretty much gone. Somebody had capped it at one point with some, some aluminum tread plate, I suppose, just to make it pretty here. Realistically, it's not anything that's going to hurt this boat. Um, it'll last me a long time. Even if the transom is rotted out, I do plan on replacing that get it fixed. Um, not too worried about it. It's not a big deal. I just got to drill some rivets out, pull these back cavities out, clean that up, um, pull that bottom channel off, put a piece of new wood in there and then rivet everything back on. It'd take me a couple of days probably between cutting the piece of wood and getting this stuff drilled out and getting it all rivet riveted back together. So the trailer's in great shape. Not worried about it at all. I'll probably repack bearings and make sure that we're good there. He said he did have it done and it only went down the road a couple of times sometime last summer. Um, so this is basically what I got. I think I got a good deal on it, Facebook Marketplace. Wasn't too far away, that was kind of the key. The other boats that I'd seen that were kind of similar, but not really, they were much shallower. So this is a nice deep, almost 22 inches, I think, deep. Um, most of them were, a little more than half of that, maybe 16 inches. So it's a nice deep boat. I wanted the five foot width. A lot of them are only four foot. And I also wanted the semi V up front. They call it a modified V. Um, so it can cut through the water a little bit better. Cause I, I do plan on going to some lakes to fish and it'll just be nice to, to have that extra stability. Other than that, it was a nice little boat, 1988. Nothing special about it. It fulfills my needs gonna get me on the water, get me to more fish, bigger fish, and spots that you can't just walk to on the shore and bank to bank fish. So hopefully it, it suffices for what I'm wanting to do with it. This size is probably gonna actually be perfect for me. Most of my lakes are thousand acres or less around here. Um, a couple of them are kind of get to that 2000. I've got a couple bigger reservoirs that I wouldn't mind going and fishing, but it's gonna have to be a calm day for a boat this small. Um, I know the, the waves down there, I kayak a couple of them and the waves get two, three foot swells. This boat will not handle that. Pick up a few things that I wanted, obviously a trolling motor um, for the rear, get that mounted up today. I did grab one seat, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do on the back yet. This seat here has this clamp on it. I did pick it all up, um, separate from the seat. Just grabbed them. Um, the Miss Jig and probably go fishing with me occasionally. I know she'll want a little more comfort than than what I would need to, to stay out there for any length of time. Um, 
So I'm gonna get this mounted up up here on the seat right here and get the trolling motor mounted. I actually had the trolling motor on there once. I had it on the, the other side, which kind of made sense to me at first. Um, with the tiller steer, I've got to put any kind of a seat I do right in here somewhere, which means I probably need the trolling motor over here so I'm not all catty wampus trying to use it. guys hope you enjoy the video just a real short video on our new project boat um, not the project you're seeing on a lot of the, the YouTube channels um, this one's basically water ready the way it is uh, it just needs a few more touches to make it mine and again this whole idea behind this particular boat is to let me know what I want in a larger boat nobody's gonna be giving me a boat anytime soon so I'm not just gonna say hey it was given to me I'm gonna live with that it, it's going to be a boat that I've worked hard for and I want to make sure it's got everything that I want. You know, do I want a console instead of a tiller steer? Do I want a center console or a side console? If I do that, those kind of things. So again, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy the video. Talk to you later.